Well, hey there, my beautiful fairies. This is Jessie, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell down below for me. Also, too, if you're checking on the new channel, because we're going to build that one up, too. It's going to start off the same a little bit here. But it's okay. Then it's going to branch into something different. Don't worry. Y'all see what it be. Y'all see what it be. And this, so that's going to be the fire, God, the fire Goddess Tarot. Okay. So all the information will be down in the box below. If not, it'll be up there very quickly, one step at a time. So, Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-September 2019, maybe you're dealing with the Taurus, maybe you're dealing with the ending of a thought process that might be a little bit more moralistic and ethic and approaching things in a new perspective, possibly. Okay, so, yeah, what happened with the other videos is, is uh, yeah, there was viruses attached to certain downloads, so we just wiped out everything instead of trying to go through them and figure out what was what so please make sure you like share subscribe hit that bell down below for me and i've got dogs trying to come in i've got doggies trying to come in come in let's cut it though really quick and pull the cards and see what's up thank you jesus thank you spirit thank you for everything that's here wonderful the puppies and everything else like that i'm gonna have to go grab them two seconds two seconds Ooh, who's dealing with the queen of wands and we're back here like, share, subscribe. Cross watchers, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, Cancers. Beautiful. Mid September. Had to let the dogs in. Who let the dogs in? I did. I did. Okay. Well, it says puppies. Puppies. Okay. I'm not talking that loud right now, Cancer. Is it time to be soft spoken with you guys? Unlike me, I'm a very loud individual. But are you dealing with the Queen of Wands energy, like I was saying just a moment ago? So this Queen of Wands energy, this little witchy woman right there, you understand what I'm talking about? She got that wand, she got that magic fire going, she knows what to do, she knows how to swing that wand around. And so that's that the energy at the bottom of the deck, actually. And at the top, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's putting in some hard work, some effort in, maybe you Cancer, maybe them, okay? So, yeah, somebody's wanting a new start here in the material world. Okay, maybe with a Pisces, maybe with a Cancer. This is possibly totally you showing up. I don't know where that accent came from. So, this beautiful Gilded Tarot deck, anyway, by Sierra Marchetti, right? Yep, that one, him? Yeah, we got the other one by him, too, the Kepler. Love that one. Um... This Pisces energy could be a Cancer with that little crustacean right there. There's this uh, decision. There's this unconscious hidden illusion that maybe somebody might be dealing with some type of fantasy here or living in some type of fantasy land. Okay. What I'm hearing here as well, too, if not, somebody's coming out of being living in the clouds. They're like coming to the realization of something. They're starting to see the bullshit for what it is. Oh, I swear. Okay. So the hangman. Somebody might be dealing again here with another water sign, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, even though this could be you again. Totally all about you standing in your power, representing your Queen of Wands, fiery energy, Cancer, okay? Nothing wrong with that. So this energy of the hangman, somebody is just taking a step back, understanding that there's a sacrifice that needs to be made. They're willing to make the sacrifice if it has to be made. So, where we see this right now? Somebody here, there was the magician in the reverse. This was somebody who was very deceptive. They can be very cunning. They're all about trickery. They're all about lies and everything else along those uh, means. Could be a Pisces here coming up because this is Mercury. Some people take it as an Aries, but with um, this being ruled by Mercury, it's Pisces, okay? So in the past foundation, somebody might have been the Nine of Pentacles, and this might have been you, Cancer, all right? Or Crosswatcher, this might have been you with your Cancer, or this energy, or how you felt things were actually going, okay? But this Nine of Pentacles, she's abundant, she's uh, bountiful, she's pretty, she's got a beautiful blue dress on, she's got her pretty birds, she's happy, she's chilling, all right? That was the past, but then when somebody came in and they realized this Cancer energy, maybe it was all smoke and mirrors here, yeah, in the recent past, there was a love offering made, Cancer or Crosswatcher. Maybe you made it to them, they made it to you. All right, that's that Two of Cups after you do the Eight, okay? Yeah, King of Cups. Boom, there you are, Cancer showing up. Could be a Scorpio as well. Maybe totally dealing with another water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio showing up. Like I said, this could be a Sag or an Aries or even a Leo right there, okay? And usually I take her for an Aries. So... How we're looking at this situation now for you, Cancer, at the bottom of the wand. You're the five of wands. 
in the reverse. That's that somebody is wanting to give up, somebody is tired of fighting, somebody is moving and trying to avoid the conflict as much as possible. Not like giving up, all right, but here in the recent past, somebody might have given their love to this King of Cups energy, and this is also an energy that's got one heck of an emotional po poker face, okay? And they could have been very deceiving in the past about other things. What we don't see coming in is, yeah, the High Priestess here, okay? So maybe you, Cancer, because I resonate her as a water sign, all right, due to the fact you see the moon, there's that Cancer, there's that Pisces energy again for me, that water, all right, that emotional, but that's that smothering energy. What somebody didn't see somebody coming in was maybe this King of Cups energy, or maybe you, Cancer, because this could totally be you, because there's the Pi or the Pisces, okay, or the other Neptune energy here that you understand here. A lot of water, a lot of water, and then somebody kind of came in and put some fire into something. <laughs> we'll see what happens when we clarify. Um, hopes and fears. Somebody feels like they missed out on an opportunity here. Maybe emotionally, maybe by a divine opportunity that was coming in, or they hope they didn't miss out on it, or they're scared they missed out on it. All right. Yeah, somebody's burnt out with the situation, though. Mental-wise, communication-wise, somebody just doesn't want to put any effort towards this. Maybe you, Cancer, Crosswatcher, you, this king over here, okay, is looking actually over here at this. Okay, this guy's looking at this, all right, and because he's over here like this. That, okay, yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm going to clarify because like I said somebody wants a new start here maybe with an earth sign or a new message of love coming in or they're burnt out with the messages of love from a Gemini or possibly a twin flame soulmate karmic connection here because they're tired of all the lack of effort being put in because this person's over here worried about that that's what I'm hearing cancer if that's what you're wondering is going on cancer or cross watcher somebody is being deceiving because they're looking at a missed opportunity with something. If that makes sense. And somebody's kind of lying about that cup. You, you see how it's the same cup? And do you see how it's the same cup? All right. Our, our, our mini uh, Robert Hansen here. This is one of my very first decks. So small, quick, easy to use. Loved it. Love it, love it, spirit. Thank you, clear, concise, compassionate, clarifying message. Remember, hit the subscribe button, whether it's the Fire Fate Tarot channel or the Fire, Fire, Fire Goddess Tarot channel. Please, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What is this? Yeah. Somebody here is either being naive and t being taken advantage of because they're putting all this work and effort in to this fire sign here this queen of wands is cancer energy all right if not you or them or somebody felt like they were putting this effort in and they were lying about it putting this effort in and somebody's burnt out with it all because like, it's like somebody's li lies got found out but I don't know. We'll put him upright. Does he pop out? All right. Let's cut it. Let's get into it, spirit. What's that? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the hermit. Somebody's in hermit mode. Working on themselves. Getting their balance back. Cancer. Maybe you. Maybe the other energy. If you're wondering what's going on with your partner. And you can't figure out what the hell is going on with them. Why... In the love offer in the past, you may have got some love, and now all of a sudden they're looking at this over here. It's because they're they're not emotionally over something yet, and they're lying about it. So somebody here, yeah, see, okay, there was that Nine of Pentacles too. This energy, this Virgo energy here, maybe Cancer, you're not over a Virgo. Virgo, you're not over a Cancer. Could be a fire sign here, Leo, Aries, Sag. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Aries, could be a Pisces. I'm picking up though, because Pisces, Cancer. Okay, more water, more water. All right, love. Way too many. Don't mind. Oh, where is that Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands is King of Swords. Bam. So here, 
Maybe the reason why this energy, this Queen of Wands energy, could totally be you, Cancer, could be the other energy, could be this person, that person, I mean, take it as it resonates. This energy came in very logically, head over heart, and they decided to step back and stand in their power and do what they needed to do, okay? If that makes sense. They stood, uh, somebody went back and worked hard and started to listen to their gut and start focusing on their money, all right? And they thought logically about this situation that somebody might have been lying to them. And they're maybe starting to see that this person maybe wasn't lying. Somebody is missing out on an op cup of love here. That's all I can... This... What is this? What is this, man? I'm curious now. What's this magician? Because we got the Ace of Pentacles up there, too. Don't go sideways on me. Come out. What is the magician spirit? Thank you. Oh, see, so it came out like this, so I don't know. See, yeah, somebody was dishonest and maybe made a bad judgment call and was reckless and made a love offering. And they're trying to get up all over. And they're still in their head about it, Cancer or Cross Watcher. If you're wondering what's going on with your partner, who this is resonating with, Cancer, if you're trying to figure it out, your King of Cups here. Somebody made a love offering here to somebody in the past, and they feel they made the wrong judgment call because they they feel like they messed out on this energy that maybe came in a little logically. Does that makes sense? What's the moon? What is the moon, spirit, please and thank you? What is the moon? What is the moon? Yeah, maybe it was with the Gemini or twin flame soulmate karmic connection. But somebody's moving on from this energy. Somebody's moving on from this Gemini. Okay? Or somebody is moving on and letting go of this decision, this major choice, this whole thing that was like a fantasy land for them. You know what I mean? It's like somebody figured out that it was all a bullshit lie. Yeah, the, see, somebody, again, here's the high priestess in the reverse. That's why somebody's hanging on, because somebody's still smothering. Somebody's still trying to keep this going. One of the water signs might be you, Cancer, might be the other energy. All right, if not, they're trying to not let something else go. Keep you, not let something else go. That should be the title. Because that's what we don't see. This person is just trying to smother. They're jealous. You know what I mean? They're insecure in this situation. Because this one is starting to realize they, they lied about making the wrong judgment call about who they should be giving their love to. And they're getting all over being up in their head about it. That's that self-imposed mental prison there. You know what I mean? Also, too, wrong communication, dishonest communication going back and forth. Yeah, because in the past, somebody here was single and maybe not wanting to move on from that lifestyle yet. So somebody came in, maybe a Libra or a Leo. See, here's the Leo or the Virgo, okay? But either which way, that Ace of Swords moment came in, right? Sorry. That Ace of Swords moment came in. And this person was like, yeah, yo, I'm going to not give up being single. I'm really over this. I'm over this person. This never happens. Blah, blah, blah. Somebody came out with a bunch of bullshit, and they, it was a bunch of bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Somebody got offered the love, but they really wanted to give it to this person over here. I mean, what else can I say? That kind of sucks. What's the... Mm-hmm. Told you. Maybe in the past, Cancer, it was a Scorpio, all right, that you wanted to give this love to. This is that Scorpio energy right up here, looking at that Four of Cups. There is that transformation. Somebody was wanting to see, you see how he's putting this to sleep? He's putting this family to rest. If that makes sense, Cancer or Cross Watcher. Who's the King of Cups? Mm-hmm. King of Cups in the reverse, the Page of Swords. Oh, isn't that crazy? This is somebody, too, again, who has gotten a lot of bad advice. Somebody is spying. You are spying on them. They are spying on you. Who the hell knows? Somebody is smothering and trying to not let somebody go 
all right, and somebody wants to let something go, like, it's a, it's a whole clusterfuck. It's a whole clusterfuck. Oh. All right, five of wands. We're going to pull some oracles. We'll give you some advice and get you on your way, hopefully, guys. Okay, what's the uh, five of wands in the reverse here? For our beautiful cancers, what is it? So, yeah, somebody's just... I don't know how to put it. Not lassie. Nope. Somebody's not giving that somebody's not giving that love. Cancer, you're not getting it. You're not gonna give it. Something something that love offering here. Somebody let it go. Somebody doesn't want it. Somebody doesn't want to give it. This person is over here looking at this shit. They may have lied to you in the past and said, Yeah, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, but it might have been all it fluff and smoke and mirrors, deceptive cunning energy just to trick you. Yeah. Somebody here. Mm-hmm. Okay, somebody here was very reckless with their feelings and with their emotions and not thinking clearly, okay, about the family that they actually had, if that makes sense. If not, somebody is all out of whack because there was the breaking up of a family or they know the family's breaking up and there's really nothing nobody can, there's nothing you can do about it. If that makes sense. That's why somebody is coming in hot, smothering. You know what I mean? They're trying to hang on and not lose this situation no matter what they try and do. So, the Four of Cups. Somebody, see, like I said, somebody's hoping and praying here that this King of Cups is looking at this missed opportunity with you, Cancer or Cross Watcher. But this person is looking at this lifestyle that they were like, yo, I had too many people. And honestly, I missed out on my major cup. So I need to go look to something different. This, they're looking that way, if that makes sense. So you, Cancer, the other energy, somebody's looking for that new beginning. They're in isolation mode. They're in hermit mode. They're doing their thing. They're working on their money, working on their power, working on their mental stability, all types of crazy stuff. Like, you know what I mean? You know how when some people go ghost, it's because they're trying to get a buckle down on the home front, like the kids and this, that, and the other. So it just depends. Yep, six of rods. See, somebody's just burnt out from this situation. They don't want to do this anymore. Maybe mentally, maybe emotionally, they're just tired of it. You, Cancer, the other energy here. Could be another death. I'm telling you, there's a plenty of water. So this is wet. There is plenty of water in this situation. I'm just swimming. Keep on swimming. You know what I mean? Woo! Mm -mm. Anything else? Six of rods. Yeah. So somebody is moving on, okay, from this greedy energy, this callous energy, this selfish energy. Somebody was thinking about themselves in this. Okay, Cancer or Cross Watcher, maybe this Earth energy that you were with, maybe it was you, could have been the Kings here, male or female, somebody, I don't know. But somebody's just burnt out with this and the whole situation, and they're just, they're like, I'm victoriously moving on from this type of negative type energy, because, like, he, he's like two different people, and somebody sees it now. It's like Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Cap Dr. Hyde, or... How does that go? I don't remember the story. I'm gonna read it again. Oh, here was the other ones that came out. Yeah, see, in the Knight of Pentacles. So now this person is willing to not. Okay. See, the person's so burnt out because they finally got rid of one energy, right? And they're realizing that this other energy was a greedy person. So now they're trying to not make that love offering to anybody because they're not trying to deal with the fighting or the bullshit. They're giving up. They're letting go of the conflict. They're letting go of this love. They're letting go of the love here. Like, it's about all I can say with that. Let's pull our love angels and see what they got to say. Right, Cancers? Remember, like, share, subscribe. Cross watchers, too. Please, thank you. All right, guys. I know I can't say. I ain't going anywhere. All right. What is the message for our love angels for Cancer Spirit for the mid of September, please? Mid of September. Whenever you watch this is whenever you watch it. Oh, look, three. Look at that. Bam. Traction. Express your love. Love yourself first, okay? So, somebody's telling you if you're lying about somebody moving on or somebody needing to move on or somebody wanting to move on or not move on from this situation, 
I guess you need to love yourself first and decide what you really want because you, rom uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Go ahead and express your new love to somebody. Okay? That's what I mean. Somebody's tired of fighting. Somebody's tired of fighting and waiting for this love offering because that person's not going to give it to you. They don't want to give it to you is what I'm hearing. Cancer or cross watcher. I'm sorry to be me. They're over here looking at the two of wands. They're looking at their new path, their new freedom in life. They're, they're over it. You cancer are or they are. Let me know in the comments down below. I got to... Yeah, see, guiding children. You're good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your uh, skills to help children now. Okay, Cancer? So maybe this is the breaking up of a family, so you need to focus on your kids. Remember, those are also people that you love in your life that are very important loves, right? Doesn't always have to be sexual intimate love, guys. Okay? Remember that. Remember that. Anything else from the goddesses? Anything else? Anything? Anything? All right, we'll give you one good shuffle this way, and we'll be done with that. It's, like, taking forever to shuffle. This is why I usually I try and... No, nope, we're good. We're going to see who's a part of it, too. I'm curious now. All right, anything. This is John Holland deck, the Psychic Holland Oracle. What do we need to work on, Spirit? Anything? Oh, Jesus, we'll take the one. Yeah, recognition and reward, cancer, or cross-watcher. Somebody's wanting to get some type of reward or recognition from somebody in regards to maybe a relationship status, and maybe that's not what you're getting. You're like, you might just be getting, like, baby mama status. Yeah, see, okay. You need to work on your balance, okay? Here we go. There needs to be some shadow side work done. The universe is trying to come in and tell you that and work on your balance here. Okay, because you're looking for recognition and reward and positive movement forward, but he came out negative, positive, you know, upside down. So that might not be what's happening. And to do that, we got to make positive movement forward by focusing on our shadow side and what demons we need to work on, Cancer or Cross Watcher. All right, let's see here. Like I said, could be dealing with just about anybody, right? We're almost done. Last deck. Our Kipler deck, Zero Marchetti yet again. Love it. Yeah, there's a wealthy male here maybe, okay? And somebody here is working hard at a situation, Cancer or Cross Watcher. Maybe he's hard at work, I don't know. Somebody needs to come in. But there's a pathway being opened up in a situation. And somebody, I don't know, the gift is in reverse though. Because like I said, this guy came out in the reverse too. The Toil and Labor did. You know what I mean? Somebody's working, trying to open and get bring a gift in, and somebody maybe not taking it. I don't know. Yeah, somebody's trying to gift somebody poverty. I don't think so, though. Yeah, see? Somebody's trying to say somebody's a false person. If that makes sense. It's all good. Maybe you, Cancer, maybe them. Who knows? Yeah. Somebody got trapped by maybe a false person here. Oopsie. And because they're still thinking about somebody else. Cancer or cross watcher. You know what I'm saying? Is what I'm hearing. Somebody was still thinking about somebody else. Any angel guidance? Whoopsie. Yeah. Take these two. Clear your space, guys. Get rid of the clutter. Clear your energy around you. Use some feng shui. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs, Cancer or Cross Watcher. And that's where we're going to end it then, okay? All right. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell down below for me, okay? Everyone wants love. Only love is real. The fire god is uh, the fire god is tarot and fire fey tarot. All right. So make sure you hit the subscribe button on both for me, all right? Remember, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye now.